All right, today in this video, I'm gonna have my son and my daughter help me out. What we're doing here is this KiwiCo kit. This one you can get at Target. So let's go ahead and see what we have here. This one is the Astronomer Kit. It's Build and Learn. So let's go ahead and take a look. I have to hold this so we share the mic. Okay, let's see. Can I paint? Well, you might paint it later, yeah. You will might paint it later. So let's see. Can you read what it, what this says, Coco? What do you mean? Astro... Astronaut. Astronaut kit. Okay, so this is astronaut kit, not astronomer kit. I got it wrong earlier. Okay, let's... <laughs> All right. Save off. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, no, I'm Take it off. Here. Okay, let's go and open it up and see what this cycle called. What is that one? Astronaut guide? Oh, okay, so it comes with all that stuff, right? So, let's take a look at what we have in the guide. Okay, first thing is we have two things we can do here. We can either do the solar system or the, ash, the shuttle launch. This one is... What is this? Okay, this is just telling you stuff that's available in Target. We don't need this right now. So these are the two main ones. I'm gonna pick this one. Okay, so my son wants to pick this one first. So we're doing the shuttle launch first. Okay, let's put this shuttle launch up in here. Well, before, before we do that, a quick little thing. We do have a little guide here as usual. So inside the guide, um, it's typical to most KiwiCo stuff. It's just a little bit of information for you to read to your child. Or they, they can read, they can read themselves as well. Okay, put those aside. We'll take a little bit more look at that in a bit. Okay, uh, and then what else? This is a nice little solar system. Um, what's it? Yep. Shows you the solar system right here. Okay. Yeah, he's showing you all the instructions. Okay, let's put this down. So you start with instructions first. So for this one, it's build the launch pad and so let's gather the equipment first okay so let's go ahead and start what do we do first it says the big launch pad piece with the blank side facing up stick a tick gray foam circle to each corner no is it this one or this one no it's this one hmm? Yeah, poke them out, go, you like, and put it around the corners. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we do next? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Are you reading instructions, Alistair? Mm -hmm. You want to put my help a little bit? Yeah. There's a lot of... And now we're almost done, Baba. Yeah, we're almost done. Next, add the platforms to the rest by sticking the tabs into the slots. And light it black side up, fold in it in half. Look, you're closing a book. Line it up from the bottom. No, uh, this one looks like it's in the middle. I can't. Okay. Yes, it's fine. It, it, as long as it's generally in the middle, it's okay. All right, I think now our launch pad is ready. All right, so this is the last time to fly. This is where Mumui gets to help in a bit. You, after you do a test launch, then you let Mumui do a test launch. Okay. <laughs> and I want to try it? Okay. <laughs> went down my chair. Yeah. All right. We're done with this. We can play with Adelaide. You can play with this on the side. Solar system. <clears throat> Here we go. This one, astronaut solar system. Let's see. Uh, we do not know where the black ring is. We did not see it. And uh, this thick foam cord, it looks like it doesn't have it either. So we have this one 
but we used it in the previous activity because it had yeah we used the wrong ones that's why we used the gray ones okay now it's better this is a little bit more flat now because earlier we had the black foam in the middle it really needs the gray because it's not a stick don't worry we are fixing it <laughs> So the black ring is fairly important because it's going to keep this rod from going, from moving. Ah, I found it. So they're inside one of these little bags. We got to be careful. Do not throw them away as those black rings are extremely small. They're this, this big. Okay. They do come with two of them, so you won't lose it. However, it is not scaled properly. As you can see, it looks really big here, but in reality, super small. Okay, so next we slide the ring into the pole. This might be a little bit hard. This one might require your help as the adult because it's not exactly easy. Okay, there we go. About one inch. Okay, that's good. Next. Mm -hmm. See, that's why the black ring is important. Keeps it from moving. Okay, looks... Mm. So I don't know why they said one inch. One inch seems a bit long, so we're going to have to adjust it so that it... It mires it so. Now it's flat. So it's significantly less than one inch. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll change this later, but since it can slide, it's not a big issue. So now it's flush. So these are. How do I can you grab this, the black inside? Grab one. Yep, give it a go call. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the Jupiter, the biggest, right? Yeah. There's a guy, you got That's it. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. They're both the same. Okay, so now it's time for us to paint our planets. I will paint it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> they do include this little... Can I, can I All right. They do include this here that allows you to paint on. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, clear out some of this stuff really quick. Okay, so the mess mat is small. I'm gonna get a bigger mess mat. You barely didn't. You barely even dropped any paint. That's good. Yeah, because it's just on <clears throat> paper. We're done with the shuttle launch. We're waiting for this to dry. Once it's done drying, I will let you see the final and see what it looks like. Um, let's see what else we have left in our guide to becoming an astronaut. Okay, there's really not much in here except. So it's gonna. Looks like this, you're gonna learn a little bit about the astronaut and everything. And earlier I already showed you, this is the solar system map. Put that back in here. <clears throat> Put these two back in here so we know we're done. Um, let's take a look at this astronaut's guide right now. Okay, put this aside since we're done with this. Let's take a look at the astronaut guide. Yeah. All right, so it looks like this bet last from the plot. From the past, it gives you a little bit of history along, if you can see here, some history of how things are moving along, okay? And then on the job, wow, it really tells you everything that they're doing at the space station. We'll probably read through this later. Okay, uh, fun facts. This should be fun to read with with you and later, right, Alistair? Mm -hmm. Okay, next, let's go ahead. All right, last is uh, space needs you. Okay, so this is seeing, I guess, trying to prepare some students to learn more about space so that they can get interested in becoming an astronaut possibly. All right, so we are um, give or take done with this right now. Um, right now, I guess I've been recording this whole time and haven't stopped. Um, of course, I'll be cutting it so it's not as long, but right now it shows that we've been recording for 81 minutes. 
So think about it. We spent about 81 minutes to do this activity and we're not exactly done. So, so far it's been pretty fun. Has it been fun for you, Alistair? Mm. Oh yeah, now he's looking at what, tar what else Target has. So these are other ones that Target possibly has for him to participate in. He's probably looking forward to his next one. <laughs> okay, well, if you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. And of course, I will be back later showing you the final look of the solar system and maybe give you a little bit more details on that later as well. But if you have any questions or anything, let me know down below in the comment section. See you in the next one.